Welcome again to my friend, the Holy Spirit. Give to Zawadi Love here. We continue on the series, Spiritually Legal or Physically Legal. And we saw that there are Daniel. Let's go to Daniel 6 from verse 10 now. But when Daniel learned that the law had been signed, he went home and knelt down as usual in his upstairs room with his windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to God. Ha! Daniel did not regard the law of the king over God's law. It didn't matter. He learned and he knew, but he was not afraid. Why? Because the only person he feared was God. And he understood and knew that if I obey this king and disobey my God, I am a loser. The king will win. If I disobey, if I obey God, then I have nothing to lose. Why? God can, is able to protect me and to defend me. And even if he doesn't because God is a sovereign God, it doesn't matter. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I live because of God. If I die, I even go, get, get to go to a better place. I win either way. And that is what you need to understand. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. People who fear men do not have this wisdom. Understanding that you know what? God is able, well able to deliver you and to fight for you. He, does, he has done it before. He can do it again and again and again. But even if he decides not to because he's a sovereign God, then you get to be with him. And it's a beautiful thing. So either way, you gain. But if you disobey, you lose. Why? Because first of all, you're disobeying God who can kill both body and, uh, and your spirit. Secondly, you now make man be the winner over you. Listen to this. Let's go on. So he never changed his routine as always, right? Okay. So when the officials went together to Daniel's house and they found him praying and asking for God's help. Ha. See, they made the law and then they went to see, let's go see what he's going to do. So they went straight to the king. Straight. They didn't even go divert. They went straight to the king and reminded him about his law. Did you not sign a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone divine or human except you, your majesty, will be thrown into the, into the den of lions? Yes, the king replied. That decision stands. It is an official law of the Medes and Persians that cannot be revoked. Then they told the king, that man Daniel, one of the captives from Judah, captives from Judah, who was supposed to be their ruler, listen, is ignoring you and your law. He still prays to his God three times a day. They even counted. They were there, stationed, looking at what he did. Three times a day. People do not have a life. If they can come and just look for something, they actually stop ab worrying about their problems and they start worrying about how they're going to put you in, in, in uh, jeopardy. It's an amazing thing. People have time. All right. Three times a day. Hearing this, the king was deeply troubled and he tried to think of a way to save Daniel. See, the king was not mad that Daniel was disobeying him. The king knew, man, there's a trap here now. How can I save Daniel? How can I? Because God had already given Daniel so much favor with the king. But these people knew and they knew that they trapped the king because the king's word is the law. And the king himself, he's, he, he's not above his own word. Just like I told you before, God, he, he honors his word over his name. His word supersedes his name. So the word of the king superseded him. That the king could not revoke his word himself. That is how powerful a word is. And the law that God puts down is. So hearing this, the king was deeply troubled. He tried to think of a way to save Daniel. He spent the rest of the day looking for a way to get Daniel out of this predicament. Wow. Wow. What a blessing. When you are doing a good work for God, when you are doing what you're supposed to do, God will cause the people that are supposed to be destroying you to favor you. 
And the one that you're supposed to be, to, to be uh, he's supposed to be against you and so mad at you, will actually look for a way to try and get you out of it. Why? Because you honored God. When you honor God, he will honor you. When you despise him, he will despise you. When you obey him, he will stand with you. May God help us to understand and to see that it is better to obey God than man. Do not fear man. Don't even change your routine. If God has said this, this is the, the, that's what it stands. For me, it doesn't matter. What God says is law to me. It doesn't matter who says otherwise. What God says, it is law to me. May that be the same to you. In Jesus' name, amen.